Hi everyone, welcome or welcome on back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another Analyzing My Locks. I am currently 23 months locked. So next month is my lock anniversary. I will be two years. So I just like to do these videos to currently analyze my locks, what they're giving at this current moment in time, any issues that may be occurring and things of that sort. So I'm going to get a bit closer so we can have a closer look. Okay, so now that I'm a bit closer, first things first is, this is the state of my retwist. I believe it's been a week and a half. So this is what my retwist is giving at this point. I have not washed my hair yet and I am a bi-weekly washer, so every two weeks. And this is what it's giving. So you see it, un it's definitely unraveled in some areas, but to be honest with you, this is the best kept of my retwist that I've seen. <laughs> at least right here, because I feel like this is my problem area like i've always said this is where my hair separates the most it's up here but this side has definitely done very well i want to say to be this far into you know a week and a half later from when i retwist it and it's not unraveling right here in this center area it's doing pretty well i have started a new lock and it's her right here so when I was doing my retwist this month I noticed that these hairs right here didn't necessarily need to be in this lock so like I said in previous videos for me to start a new lock the neighbor lock next to it has to be doing well you know has to look like it's doing good there's no issues so if I take some hairs from it or you know take the hairs that are here right next to it it won't disturb this current lock so I felt like me creating a lock here would be okay and like I've said many times in many of my other videos I've suffered from postpartum shedding so I lost all my edges with both pregnancies and I felt like my edges never grew back properly, especially in my temples. I think these are your temples. I may be wrong, but I believe really, this is the temple area. But I felt like my hair never grew back, you know, like right here in this area. I just felt like the hairs never grew back properly in these areas. So on the other side, this is a newer lock that I've started. I want to say I started this lock two or three months ago so this is the progress of this one and of course it was in the same area on the other side and now i'm starting one on this side so i'm pretty happy about that that's letting me know that growth is definitely happening especially right here in my edge area which i'm very happy about because like i said i felt like it wasn't growing back i don't know what it is about this area in particular and to be honest with you, it's always felt tender. Like, even when I touch it, it still feels kind of tender there. You know, I've never suffered from alopecia or anything like that. I've never had any issues with it, but I don't know why it feels tender right here in these two little areas where the hair struggled to come back after, you know, both my pregnancies, but it still feels a little, you know, when I rub it, it still feels a little tender, but I noticed the hair is definitely coming back and starting to thicken up. And when I see that, I go ahead and start a new lock, which is what I did here. I've said before that I wanted micro locks, you know, before I started my journey, that was the lock of choice that I thought I wanted to do. So when I started my locks, I did them pretty small and of course they are still small but i have combined so many of them throughout my journey i feel like i probably would have had about 130 if i didn't combine so many 
I'm at 122 still so and I'm at 122 even though I started this one which you're probably thinking if you started a new one why are you still at 122 I also decided to combine this one right here this one I combined two months ago I want to say and these two locks were one of my you know smaller locks when I was considering trying to be a micro I want to say they were doing okay until the point where I felt like they were thinning really bad so I decided to combine them and usually when I combine my locks I combine them all the way down but for some reason these two I just left the ends out now I know some people call this like two-headed dragons or something I don't know twinsies I don't know what you want to call it I'll just call it a lock with two legs so I don't think I'm going to crochet it all the way down I mean all it's gonna do is just thicken this right here which I feel like it'll look kind of weird but maybe not but you can see the progression of how they look together as they're growing combined and they're thickening up really well and I like the progression that they're giving together rather than what it was giving when they were separated so I still should be at 122 if I've calculated properly even though I've combined those two recently so like I said I have different sizes but a lock that I have that is still pretty micro is this one <laughs> and like this one is doing very well for it to be one of my smaller locks and this was the size I was definitely looking for throughout my entire head that I wanted if I was going to do the whole head with micro locks this was the size I was looking to do all over and this is how I actually started some of them. They were this small. But what happened was as they grew, I noticed they started to get weak. So I don't know if it's because I didn't add enough hair or it was too micro on some of them. I'm not really sure, but I decided to keep some of them. So this is like one of them. And I have some, you know, like my edge here is another one that's pretty micro, I would say. And overall, with my growing away from my locks, I feel like it's, it's getting better in some areas and then in others it's still doing the same thing, which I'm not expecting it to be a problem that's never going to come back up because of course my hair is still growing so even if I crochet or braid the area in particular where the lock is separating once it grows out it's gonna happen again so it is a constant maintenance that I have to do so as you can see it's separating here before I even wash this month so that's what it's currently looking like before I go in and wash it and usually when I wash it that's when I, the most separation happens of course because it loosens up the hair from my retwist and you know it starts to separate there and like this one I believe I braided this month and as you can see that's how it's holding up so I noticed they're starting to do much better. I'm trying to find, I believe this is one that I was struggling with that was um, one that I spoke about in my thinning locks video. I believe this is one of them and I'm not sure what the other one is that was also, you know, thinning out too, but it's somewhere around here. But Either way, this is one of them for sure, but I definitely braided it, I believe the last two months I've braided it, 
And as you can see, it still has a little separation right here, but this is not definitely where it usually would separate. It usually would separate further down here. This is just a little piece that I probably need to just twist around that started to just come out, you know, at the beginning where I started to braid there. Also, the obvious is I've colored my hair. I colored my hair at the beginning of May, I believe. And my hair has been growing. I mean, I'm just in shock of how much my hair has grown. I feel like when I do my two year update and compare it to my 12 you know, months or my one year, I mean, the difference in growth is probably gonna be crazy because this year I just definitely feel like my hair has been off. And I don't know when my hair dropped, but it has dropped. And you know, I know at a certain point in the journey that's expected, but I can't tell you exactly when it happened because I feel like I just woke up one day and my hair just looked like it just was flat, like it just came down. Like I feel like before, you know, my hair would be maybe this section would be kind of up over here, this section would be kind of up over here. But overall now it's giving me the overall look of everything has dropped down, everything is now trying to form, you know, even to my face better. It's just starting to lay and form better. Even with my shorter layers here on the side, I feel like they're growing and they're starting to try to catch up with my longer layers, which I find to be so crazy because I've said it before, like, I don't know if I'm going to have to get to the point where I'm going to have to, like, even my hair out or do I just leave it alone because I felt like the shorter pieces were just so much shorter than the rest of my hair that it was like what's going on here you know but they're starting to just come down and grow even faster like I just feel like even this top portion of my hair has been growing like crazy to where I feel like the back is now like you know at a steady progress and then like the top of my hair is just taking off it's so crazy but that is literally what's happening so that is pretty much it for me analyzing my locks at 23 months i hope you all enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching take care bye guys